How's it going? How's it going? Hey, listen. Always, always, always. Do, 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 do. Hey, good morning, Gria. How's it going? Yeah, so today I have painted all the characters. And uh, this one is obviously... It needs some help. And I think today I actually need to... In order to make it painless... Uh, I need to look at reference for the cougar. Prince of Beer, what? Right here. <laughs> you win. Hey, dear Bard, thanks you ver thank you very much oh, for the host, man. The You're going for the high score. You win another beer. So what I gotta do is find reference, kinda for the head, to make sure the head comes across as a, a mountain cougar. This looks vicious. So I'm gonna, while we wait for 10 past, uh, I'm just gonna prep a bit. I don't wanna really, I don't, I don't think I really need to look at the body. The body I can kind of fake. Um, I just want to, to have reference for the proportions of the head. Hey, Ixi! Gang sites. How's it going? Yeah, like I was saying, uh, this one today, uh, we really got a... Um, I really need to work on this one. It uh, requires a lot of work still, it's not finished, far from finished. Hey, Gria, throwing some gang signs. Yeah, the 30 minute gang. We are a vicious street gang. Hey, Elar. Not, not the Spanish. Um, what's that word? Looker. He's a Ukrainian looker instead. But I, I so would have hoped that you were Spanish. Because that sounds like Elar. Sounds so Spanish. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try to get this one detailed at least a little bit uh, today. And then I have like five days only. Um, so it doesn't look good because I'm gonna be very busy this week. Uh, but I, I will try to finish them, but I doubt I will finish them. So maybe this is yet another one of those competitions I have to withdraw from. Uh, because I would hate to have unfinished work to be judged. Anyways. Without further ado, let's start the timer. Hey, Tilsan, how's it going? How's your uh, how's your project going, by the way? Your um, your little prototype. It's looking good. Will uh, will you have a thirty minute warm up exclusive? <laughs> I can. Uh, It would be fun to, to try it. Huh. Not OpenGL enabled. Why? I, w I was quite sure that it was already enabled. Hmm. I don't want to go and fiddle with settings now. But that's weird.
That's really cool, chill set. That's really, really cool. Starting to slowly outsource things. <laughs> That's awesome. I was thinking about that uh, actually the other day and about the future. And uh, like, how will the future view game making? And in what way will it be set up for people who want to make a game? You know, because there's a lot of people with great ideas uh, in the indie, indie scene, right? They really, really want to make a great game. They have had this idea for a long time, whatever, whatever, you know. And I was thinking the other day, like, how... In what way can you set up um, a scenario where, where you can help them? You know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know uh, where I was thinking. Uh, I'll, I'll try to kind of explain my thinking. Hey, Quentin. What's up? Good morning, man. Anyway, so I was thinking, as uh, like a business, in a business kind of way, like, wouldn't it be cool to be able to, because, oh man, incoherent thinking, you know, on, on Facebook, you always get this, like, master class from jo uh, uh, Morgan Freeman in acting, whatever, whatever. Chilson, yeah, that is, that is really good. But I was thinking, what if, like a business as a business model, you can ha you can uh, consult with uh, Morgan Freeman of the game industry. You know, like let's say in your instance, Chilstrand, you have this project, right? You're doing the best you can. What if there was a business where where you could hire them for whatever percentage of revenue or share or whatever, you know, uh, to to throw an experienced eye over the project, um, art direction, all these things. And uh, for you, as the dev, you get a very experienced person looking over what you've done and the, 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 the decisions you're making. But you're, you're not going to get like any work done on assets and so on. It's just going to be like supervision or or consulting. So it's almost like a CGMA course, but in a game dev scenario. Would that be interesting? That's pretty cool. Chilson, yeah, UX is a, it's a beast of its own, right? Not a lot of people want to do that. But I was thinking about that game uh, business model. I think that could be. You know, how could you, let, let's say you were doing a project and uh, you're about to marketing it, 
market it or whatever and you set up a marketing plan but because you're indie you more or less have no idea what you're doing more or less you know like is this a good idea is this a good marketing plan uh, is it a valid strategy and what if you could just kind of I don't know hire a uh, really skilled person that just kind of eyes it over no idea hey Millerfin. good morning captain jetlag what up children yeah well not really i mean the publisher in a sense um yes and no that's what they do a publisher will uh, try to um, uh, let me see I mean obviously publishing publishing they need to see the whole package and all these things but uh, that's a big picture thing and i do agree that's that would be great to be able to hire someone as well to just have a look over um, the project as a whole as a publisher but you got to get something to that point first right and if you're in the you you don't necessarily know everything and and or experienced in everything and Yeah, absolutely, Chisan. Definitely depends on which publisher. And if you even have a publisher. I mean, a lot of indies, uh, they don't even have a publisher that they can lean on. Or, I mean, in a, in a lot of instances, a publisher dictates the final word. Hey, who wants to play Prince of Beer? Right hey, wait a cuff. You Thank you very much for the, for the host. Much appreciated, man. Way the cuff. Interesting nickname. Shout out. <laughs> whoop whoop. Awesome, man. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for the host. I assume that you're done for the for the evening and going to bed and looking for someone to host. So for me, this is a 30 minute warm up stream. Oh, yeah. Wait a cuff, yeah. Well, much appreciated that you come in and, and have a peek. I'm doing 30 minutes a day uh, for this art competition, and I'm currently um, taking this warm up on a second pass need to refine um need to refine it a lot uh, <laughs> i've got five days to finish 10 characters and uh i have sketched all out all 10 characters out and what i gotta do now is just um, go over all of them and refine them and um, obviously add more detail everywhere a lot of them is just 30 minute sketches um, lots of work still to be done to be had um, it is what it is I most likely won't have time because I'm super busy uh, but it's still the fun fun challenge to do hey rags how's it going welcome 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 <laughs> nice horse <laughs> oh, yeah super groovy nice one uh, chill strand I did have ambient music um, but they they constantly shift the copyrights for these ambient music things, and uh, they just get copyright claimed. And uh, when they do, all traffic that the clip generates, even though my clips generate like roughly a hundred views uh, per clip, um, if they're copyrighted, I won't uh, or copyright claimed. I won't get any of that traffic towards my channel. Um, they will just kind of hijack that, and I I won't see any benefits from it. 
So I I re I'm really um, kind of trying not to have a lot of ambient uh, or any sounds per se um, for the YouTube version of the clips, and I don't have time to edit out music and whatever and all these things. Um, I just, you know, try to make it easy for myself so I can just sl upload the the U the clip to YouTube because I record locally as well as uh, Twitch uh, Twitch's VOD uh, and then the local file uh, I'll just upload to YouTube so it becomes a, like an archive on YouTube. Um, so if on YouTube if there's a copyright claim, uh, I just get zero zero benefits from it and obviously I want to ideally work myself up to some sort of uh, stable traffic uh, and you know in order to be able to to help out the community somehow with sponsors or uh, goodies or whatever if I don't get any traffic towards my channel then what use is it um, you know, for the future. Hey, I've ordered breakfast. How's it going? How's it going? So, uh, wait a cuff. Every day I stream at the same time. Um, usually it is a random topic for 30 minutes. But lately I've been uh, working on this art competition uh, this month. Um, so, every day there's a progress being made on towards the art competition and uh, this is more or less just this week out and then we're back to uh, random topics at the, at the you know it was suggested by you guys this face I really need to focus on because it's such a big part of the like painting and it's uh, currently not looking like a face so let's zoom in so that I can actually spend some time on definition and I'm gonna try to save time and, and not sit and uh, noodle too much but uh, it's really really hard when I am very limited in time uh, Chilthan, yeah yeah I think it, I think that's best in terms of like background noise uh, if you want some some like moody background stuff behind my my rants uh, I think the best is to just do it yourself um, unless it's like an extra stream and when it's an extra stream that stream is not going up on uh, YouTube usually lately um, I don't remember where I was. Hey, well, wait a cuff. Thank you very much for for hosting. Please feel free to follow. All that. All that stuff. Hey, Gria. <laughs> you took a day off for from painting. Yeah, I think that's really important to do. Like to recharge and that face still shit. It's really important to to relax and and kind of shake off the tension and and uh, be able to refocus. So I think taking a day off is definitely um, definitely the right thing to do. But when you do start 
uh, best is always to to um, kind of have a game plan and focus your effort instead of going back to like procrastination and uh, and all the bad negative or like unproductive uh, behaviors that you had before you needed a break. Usually that involves too much social media. Um, oh, this face. Like unfocused um, behavior. For me, at least, that's what I what I feel like when doing um, when I just kind of like watch a movie while painting and uh, it just ends up me looking at the movie more than painting and all these things and it's just so extremely counterproductive um, better to to set aside like a, a few hours switch everything off uh, uh, and w when when it, when you do kind of sit down to paint it's very focused and, and productive hey ghost shiv officer mctiris <laughs> what nicknames that's really good Shinstrand. it's really important to do because it's so easy to just kind of be saturated I think annoying the shit out of me uh, it's very easy to be oversaturated but you feel obligated uh, to um, to put the hours in you know like oh I gotta sit here I gotta do I gotta you know I can't take a break because I gotta <laughs> diminish those 10,000 hours right but what you're actually doing screw that face up redo uh, what you're actually doing with when when thinking that way is that you're um, it's a way better to to walk away don't touch it go for a walk without the phone uh, without music ideally like a walk in the in the forest without um, without what's it called stimulants from from things that that catches your your thoughts like phone etc hey, et hey officer mctiddles or titties right, cheers for the host oh, I'm going for the high score. Yeah, much appreciated shout out uh, but because what happens when you you get uh, stimulants, you don't think about the problem. You you, you your mind wanders, just like uh, having Facebook open, or like you you notice like notifications on my uh, phone when I get an email or whatever. I th glance over it, and if you would count the times and uh, I'm I'm checking the phone while even while streaming for thirty minutes. The fact that I, I check over, like for a split second, isn't a lot of time per se. But what you don't realize is that me stop stop painting and looking at the phone is taking me away from the painting and the mindset I am in and the focus I am in. Like the fact that I'm just kind of looking over and looking back has no real impact on, on the pro productivity time time wise hey Roth what up you and me we rocky run the beach <laughs> anyways but that takes me out of the implicit mind state uh, and and ta takes me into the explicit where I'm thinking co uh, consciously I want to be thinking unconsciously and be productive and and that's what's happened when you're looking at Facebook or, or you, you you watch a movie and all of a sudden there's a loud bang whoop you're out of the painting mode and you're, you're thinking about that sound or whatever. And, and then you have to engage back into the painting. And that engagement is 
is takes longer to get into it takes longer to get into this fo focus uh, mode uh, this implicit mind state where you're an autopilot and you're in the sweet spot you know uh, and explicit is where you're consciously recalling uh, and that's the dangers of the of distractions so when you're out walking you don't want that you want to start walking on autopilot and be within your mind and the same um, same for being focused while working you know prep the work uh, look at reference have uh, you know read up on the brief or whatever whatever you need to do and then you you switch everything off then what needs to be on put on music that puts you in the zone or whatever stimulants that you need to be in the zone and then and then start the timer and don't look at the timer uh, just just be extremely focused at what you're doing for a few hours only and you'll see if you do that you'll see a noticeable uh, uptick in performance you'll get so much more done and you will feel the the moment you wake up from the bubble you know the painting bubble you'll you'll instantly realize how f how slow the time has been going and how much you have done within this small time frame i guarantee you that is a guarantee and that state the implicit mind state you got to focus to get into and the fact that i am like glancing over to a, the chat takes me out of the that mind state and i have to rely on conscious recall of of knowledge in order to stay within that mind state in these warm ups because i am constantly being taken out of it by having to explain something or or someone is saying something or someone is hosting and that automatically removes me from that mind state and the autopilot and it makes me go into conscious recall and uh, it's a, high, a bigger challenge for me to perform that way due to the fact that I am being removed from my autopilot state where you're just like on a roll you know let's read the chat uh Gria, yeah it happens absolutely it can happen uh Gria, to, to that you can't perform um that's why the the, the more practice you have the more you can brute force your uh, performance with skills like you know that you're having you're not in the zone right and you you can l lean on your knowledge and make shit happen purely by the fact of of pure will and, and conscious recall of of information right you know the shadows need to be this way uh, shadows need to be that way etc etc but on the good days where you're like everything is perfect you're you're not um, distracted and you can just kind of hit it you know you, you're really in the zone everything just flows you don't need to think about technique you don't need to think about topic you don't need to think about design you're just creating and that is using all the knowledge you do while practicing and, and uh, all these things right the innate learned skills rant Uh, Miller, well, you could, I mean, <laughs> you have to think about it this way, right? You're in a position now, I'm assuming, where you need work to either pay bills or get into the industry. So, unfortunately, like you said, this group, um, they said, unfortunately, we can't pay you. 
direct money like next after this month you'll get payment but you could also say all right um i'll work at a slower pace because uh, paid work is going to take priority but let me help you for uh like x amount of percentage per sale or um you know you pay me when the the game sells you have to give me credit for my work i want to be visible um marketing wise you know concept art by miller or whatever uh and strike a deal because at the beginning of my career uh, I did lots of indie games, and I I I, for, uh, I never worked for free, for big for companies, but I would have easily tried today in modern day uh, industry if I didn't have anything to lose, you know. If I needed to pay bills with work, that obviously that work would have to take priority. If I would uh, get a paid gig, I would tell them that I work for free for, uh, or currently for free, month to month for free, say, I would say that, oh, listen, I got a contract now, uh, I'm going to have to slow down uh, until I get my pil bills paid. And then if the those that you work for free or, you know, hand to mouth for free, uh, maybe they get a little bit more money and they'll say, hey, listen, we got some money now how about you uh we really need this character done or whatever and then you start collaborating children yeah absolutely this technique of focusing is uh is really important And that's why um, studying to the point where that information is automatic um, and when you're in your implicit mind state, you, you're using that knowledge. And like, uh, I don't remember from where, but obviously I heard it from someone smarter, from a psychologist, and he said he did the analogy of a basketball player. And a basketball player playing a match, he doesn't need to think about movement. He doesn't need to think about positioning or shooting or, or, you know, momentum, any of these things. Uh, it's all on autopilot when he's playing a game. And during the game, if you would ask him, uh, like, oh, how do you, how do you do those three pointers? And if he had to start explaining while shooting. Uh, or think about what he's doing, he's out of the sweet spot and he will never make that three-point shot. And that's the same for us when we're creating. As soon as you 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 stumble up upon something you do not know and you have to think about it, you're like that instantly removed from in your implicit mind state. That's why, for example, when I did studies and uh, and then did my own imaginary work, um, I always did post-mortems and anal anal analysis on my work and not while painting. While painting, I am, I w I am completely engulfed in what I'm doing. And then, like, when I wake up out of the fog, I look at where I failed and go, all right, there's a mistake, there's a mistake. Uh, because if I start thinking about anatomy, um, my mistakes, uh, you know, more and more in depth, um, um, you know, I will stop being productive. You just got to rely on what you have in your head to be good enough for now and have fun. Amir, uh, you'll be surprised how some really good artists are paid like, not like pro basketball uh, players, because not everyone cares about uh, an orc, the same as uh, a basketball game. Um, 
and you can't bet on orcs being painted. <laughs> well, you can bet on basketball game. Hence, more people interested. And uh, that's it. Officer McTiddly Tiddies, uh, at stop, I stop the stream. And, uh, and I'll start again at the same time tomorrow. So it's 30 minute stream. It's a 30 minute warm up to get your creative juices flowing. Um, have a cup of tea or coffee and talk some shit. Uh, obviously, I'm streaming from Europe. Um, so it's uh, either a good night sandwich for you <laughs> in the West or a good morning coffee for everyone else. Um, Amir, yeah. Well, the tr trend is moving. Um, towards uh, concept art being uh, more and more mainstream and more and more people appreciating it. Um, so today, uh, struggled, a lot of uh, ranting, um, the actual improvements of the warm-up um, took a little bit of a back seat and uh, ranting took over. Um, but I did get a little bit more definition, which was the... the is a little bit is better than nothing, and and let's uh, let's have a look if we can um, host someone. What's uh, Zombie World Order doing today? He's airbrushing something that looks um, like a massive thumb, or is that the like a? Oh, I should. What's he airbrushing? Anyways, I think uh, the art gun, what is she painting? Oh, she was doing 3D yesterday. Ooh. I wonder if she's going to bed. But I'm going to host... Uh, we're going to raid the art gun. She's a great artist. Uh, Overwatch style. Uh, have a fantastic day. Good night. See you tomorrow morning. Uh, make sure to give uh, the art gun some love by clicking follow and all that. Uh, have a fantastic one. Goodbye. Outro time. Throw those gang signs, Ixie. Bye. <laughs>